why is Tammy telling me you're crying? Cause why is Tammy telling you I'm crying? Tammy, why the f you telling this nigga I'm crying? We crunk lit any bitch. Yeah. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I'm Deja. Hello! I look like a potato, but that's okay. I was going to try to wait to tell more videos involving Chip, but it's like, I feel like I owe it to y'all, okay? Because I haven't been posting that much. I missed like a whole week. So I do apologize for all that. I said, why not give y'all story time? Because it's so crazy how y'all are on my TikTok and in my Instagram DMs asking about Chip. It's really crazy to think though, like back when all this was going on, I used to be like, damn, I want to tell this story so bad, but I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. So it's kind of funny that now I'm able to like tell these stories or whatever. I mean, I was able to back then. I just, it was fresh. <laughs> so this is going to be another story time about Chip, okay? And in this story is when I found out this man had a whole girlfriend. I didn't stop talking to him, but I found out he had a girlfriend. So just sit back, relax, grab your wine, grab your snack, grab your mop. I don't know, whatever you doing, go ahead and do it and just listen to the story because this one was freaking crazy. And I think I'm going to, let me just tell the story. I just be rambling. My bad. So yeah, if you guys don't know who Chip is and this is the first video you're seeing, go on my channel, subscribe first while you're there, both okay. Go to my playlist, the story time playlist, and you'll see um, kind of the recent videos is about this man named Chips that I was messing with, right? So make sure you go watch those videos because this is like the third video in this story time about Chip. So if you want to catch up, go do that. So let's just get into the story. I think I called her Tammy. If I didn't, my bad. Maybe it was Tiffany. I don't know. We gonna call her Tammy. <laughs> I think I called her Tammy. So boom. This was after the whole how I became Deja from Vegas time frame. I really, really don't remember. I just know for a fact it was quite a bit amount of time. When I say quite a bit, I don't mean like months. It wasn't like next day type but i feel like it was probably some weeks to a month after the whole deja from vegas thing had happened right so by then tammy had already went back to her city or whatever um she wasn't in vegas tammy was one of my friends who like i literally call her up like girl i'm bored like come and she's like i'm on my way shorty it ain't nothing but a thing so that was kind of like me and tammy's relationship right so i had hit up tammy one day and was like hey like i'm really bored like you should really come out here this weekend and she was like okay bet right in between me asking her to come back and deja from vegas like i said i was talking to chip every day like we would talk every day all day you guys like not an hour was missed not an hour went by we were talking every day would say though i seen some signs because like i said I've been cheated on, so I know how a cheater be moving, right? I seen the signs. I really didn't pay that much attention to them until after the fact. I was like, oh, okay, that's why he was doing this. That's why he was, you know, you know how I get, you know how I get. Yeah, when everything was happening, I wasn't like, oh, red flag, red flag, red flag. Them flags was green, and I was over here waving them, okay? And yeah, they was green flags, and I was just so excited. But um, they, they was red flags for sure. Like, they was bright red. I just didn't have on my glasses. <laughs> you know how girls be gossiping? That's the home girl. So I'm over here telling Tammy all about Chip, and oh my God, he's just so amazing. Like I said before, where have you been hiding this man? Why have you never told me about this man ever? Um, he was just great. Like, just a breath of fresh air, okay? <laughs> so, boom, fast forward to when I asked Tammy to come back to my house, okay? So, I'm like, hey, girl, I'm bored. Come over. She's like, okay, baby, I'm on away. So, she catch a flight, come to Vegas. She's here, and we're chilling, and like I said, she be throwing me on the camera with her friends. So, she over here talking to her friends. I'm over here talking to Chip. <laughs> Nobody else matter but that. Man, I'm telling y'all, I did have some options. Leave your options open, okay? Don't put all your eggs in one basket now. I did have my options, but like he was just top of the list. Remember how I said he was gonna be top two on the roster? He was top two for a good three days. He was number one, okay? So that, that was my baby. Oh, he had a girlfriend, he had a girlfriend. Okay, back to that. I'm reminiscing a little too much. <laughs> he had a girlfriend, I forgot. Told y'all. Oh, it was just so good. Okay, so listen. <laughs> You know what really made me mad? Because the whole time Tammy was like at her house, 
and we would be on FaceTime talking and I would like chip this, chip that. She never once said, oh, you know, Chip got a girlfriend at all, right? She would just let me be all ha 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 over this man and she's just on the other end of the phone, ha it on, you know? And I'm just like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. She really didn't tell me anything. What she did do though, is she waited till she got into my presence, which was kind of crazy to me. But let me tell y'all what happened. So she comes to my house, like I said, first day. She didn't even give it some time. <laughs> first day of her being there, we're sitting there, she's talking to her friends, I'm talking to Chip. You know, we're on FaceTime, then we get off FaceTime, we're texting, right? She notices that I'm in my phone a lot. She's like, oh, who you talking to? And I'm like, girl, Chip. Like, she was like, you were just on FaceTime with this man. And I'm like, baby, girl, we talk all day long, 24 hours in a day. Me and him are talking. And she like, dang, like, I mean, y'all talk a lot. And I'm like, yes, girl, like, let me tell you, this is going to be the one. Like, that is the one in my little brain. So she goes on to tell me, remember that day we met up with him at the bar? And I'm like, yeah, the first day I met this man, like, the only time I ever seen him in person, for real, for real. Of course I remember. That was the day my life changed forever. How can I not remember? Of course I remember, Tammy, like... I would never forget this day. I'm gonna tell this to our grandchildren. Of course I remember, bitch. She's like, you remember that girl who like got up but she left real, real fast? I'm like, yeah, like what happened to her? Did you ever figure out? She's like, you know, she cool. Um, I've hung out with her a couple times, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, so you talked to her? I thought, I thought I was gonna get a story time of what happened that night on her end, right? No, she gonna tell me. You know that's his girlfriend? I said, who girlfriend? Tammy. Chip girlfriend. You fucking lie. <laughs> Where are you getting this information from? Google? It's wrong. <laughs> like, there's no way in hell. I said, is that his girlfriend to this day? And she's like, girl, yes. Till this day. They've been together for a long time. He didn't tell you? <laughs> Dumb bitch. He didn't tell me. Why would he tell me that? I mean, why wouldn't you tell me that, Chip? But like, why? Why would he tell me? Like, what? Wh there was really no, there was all, I was about to say there was really no space or opportunity for him, but it was really all the fucking space and opportunity in the world to let me know. Hold on, babe, girl. I got a girlfriend. I can't talk to you. Or I see where this is going and it, it sound good. It look great, but I got a girlfriend. You know, space and opportunity, baby boy. You could have said something. Oh, he pissed me off that day, but it got worse. So that was like the first day of Tammy getting there and just letting me know. So now I have insight of this man got a girlfriend. So then you know what I did the next time Chip called my phone? <laughs> hey, bro, <laughs> why Tammy telling me you got a girlfriend? Like, that was your girlfriend who was there on the trip with you. You had a whole girlfriend tongue down my throat in the parking garage. Like, it was a lie. It was confusing. So that's when Chip goes on to tell me his point of view of the relationship, right? Oh, we've been together for this amount of time. It's kind of just comfort at this point, history, um, I'm kind of checked out, blase, blase. And I'm like sitting here fully understanding, kind of just like stepping back from the whole I like you point of view and getting into like my friend, mom, um, mentor point of view because I'm like, okay, I've experienced a long-term relationship. 10 plus years of my life with one person. So you telling me about this bit of time with your person, okay, we can like go back and forth and you know, that's when he started really confining in me about the relationship and how he felt towards it. La 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 la, right? Three, four days go on of that. It was less like flirtatious and more of like friend, like I can talk to this person, I relate to this person. Like we were already like connected and just like vibe right off back and kind of like just clicked with each other. But I feel like when we start talking deeper about like life and like reasoning behind we feel like this and like that i feel like that's when we really form this like connection you know because we kind of like related we have a lot of like the same point of views and stuff on life so i feel like that's what kind of made us just like mesh closer together and then obviously the sexual attraction was there so it was kind of just like ah this big old messy ass ball right so we're over here having these conversations he's letting me know and he's just like you know the obvious is this is not my character it's just something about you la, 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 la. pumping my head up <laughs> i ain't even gonna lie i was like oh it's something about me you ain't never done this before but it's me 
dumb. But I ain't gonna lie, that shit was pumping my, I was geeked. I wasn't geeked like, oh, he cheating. I was geeked like, damn, I have this effect on this person that is making him do shit he don't normally do. If that makes sense, y'all, like, I wasn't trying to be no homewrecker. I wasn't happy about the situation. It was just like, I'm a Leo. <laughs> That's what it is. He was feeding my ego. I ain't gonna lie. It was, it was pride and ego in there for sure because he's telling me like, I've never done this before. You know, I really like you. I don't want you out of my life. He was saying so much shit, okay? It was a lot and it was really feeding my ego and I was just like, you know what? I fully understand, like, <laughs> no I don't because I ain't never cheated before. So I don't understand, but like, I fully understand you, Chip. Like, you know, I'ma just say on my behalf, I don't wanna come in between you and your relationship. We can be friends. I know you feel like you don't want me out your life and I don't want you out of mine because I feel like we're one. <laughs> like I said, that is me as a male, you guys. Like that is literally, literally me. I don't want you out of my life either. Like we need to find a way that we can still communicate and talk to each other without it being like, more than just friends, you know? It didn't work. But <laughs> that was my mindset when he was like telling me all this, okay? So those days went by, we're talking and we're just like, you know, expressing to each other this, this, and that. I'm telling him like, I really don't like being the side chick. I'm not one of those. I don't home wreck. So like, you need to figure something out. Or like we said, we don't not want to be in each other's lives. We need to set boundaries in place. Like we're really just friends. We can talk, we can find in each other, but it's like, there's no more than that, right? After those conversations, the communication that we had kind of slowed down a lot. I feel like it slowed down because it was like, he would hit me up and then I would be like, uh, feel some type of way. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I was feeling some type of way like you I just found out you had a girlfriend like you were supposed to be <laughs> you were supposed to be the one and now you have a whole girlfriend so now I'm looking at you uh, sideways because like how can you even do that ill when he would text me I would kind of be dry and then like I would miss him so I would text him and then he would reply kind of dry so it was kind of just like uh, for a little bit and I feel like that uh, went on for like two or three days back then it felt like it was going on for two three months like <laughs> I haven't talked to you in two days. Like, <laughs> like, it was bad. After those two or three days was dry, it kind of picked back up, but like when we would talk, it wouldn't be like flirtatious. It was really just like friendship vibes, right? And me and Tammy are out at my pool in my complex and we're like taking pictures and stuff, right? Like we're at the pool taking pictures for like two, three hours, right? We're getting ready to leave um, and these two men walk up to us and they're like, oh, what's up? Like we live here too, blah, blah, blah. Like what's your name, blah, 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 right? What we gonna call him? Do we have stories about him? Ah, we can throw in some stories because he was kind of weird too. So what we gonna call him? Ooh, I like picking names. What are we gonna call him? I'm trying to like do a wordplay off of allergic because I really feel like I was allergic to that man. We gonna get into that because that shit was weird too. So I'm gonna call him Salty, okay? Salty and his friend walk up to us at the pool and he like, oh, what's your name? Blah, blah, blah. I see y'all, you look real good. Like, I guess they was looking at us from their balcony because like how it was set up, they can see they the pool area. So he was like, yeah, we was looking at y'all. Like, you look real good. Da, da, da. Like, let me get your number. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. And it's really crazy because when I go out, I give people my alias, okay? You're not getting Deja unless I feel like you cute too. So like we can exchange Instagrams, right? But I told him my alias, right? And he was like, oh, like, that's cute. That's fine. Yo, mama named you that? Like, nah, my daddy named me that. <laughs> like, oh, let me get your Instagram. And I was like, fuck. Tammy ended up giving the homeboy her Instagram. So I was sitting here like, damn, I can't say I ain't got an Instagram because we taking pictures. <laughs> Why are we taking pictures? So I was like, damn. My name is not really uh so-and-so. Like, my name is Deja. We ain't even gonna talk about it, right? So Salty was like, all right, cool. He was like, you know what? Like, um, we live right here, blah, blah, blah. You living here? I'm like, yeah, I live in here. Like, she's just visiting though. He's like, okay, cool. We're having a game night tonight. Like, y'all should come over. So I'm like, okay, cool. I wasn't really feeling him, y'all. I wasn't feeling it. He wasn't ugly. Really handsome young man. But the reason why he was a young man, okay? We, like I said, we gonna get into the stories about Salty. I'm over here all over the place. But Salty, mm, nah, okay? It was crazy. Never, ever date nobody that live in your complex. Salty taught me that. <laughs> Salty taught me that one. Me and Tammy go back home, blah, 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 right? This day, 
I wasn't talking to Chip that often. Salty had hit me up. Like, y'all can come through at this time. This is my friends coming over. We got bottles. Da -da -da -da. And I'm like, all right, cool. Like, you want me to bring any games? And he was like, if you want to. Like, but we got a lot here. And I'm like, all right, cool. So during all that time, Chip is hitting my phone up. We're going back and forth. But it's just a little back and forth. We go over to Salty's house. His friends are there. The vibe is vibing. This is the reason behind Salty having more story times. Because he was actually a real, I wouldn't say that. He was okay the friends vibes was lit him on the other hand that man was just a real asshole not to me though that's what i like <laughs> this story ain't about salty it's about chips so let's get back into that yeah we're at the house we're vibing we're drinking like you guys this is so much fun oh my god we have new friends in the building like i wasn't planning on messing with salty to the extent that it went <laughs> at all but i was just like oh you know like new friends if i need some sugar i could go hit up salty you guys I'm sitting at this table playing Uno, happy as hell. Happy as hell. I'm competitive, so like, the, the game is intense. We playing Uno, happy, you guys. I get a wave of emotion, a wave of emotion, and I just get so sad. Like, to the pit of my soul. I get so sad, and I just look at Tammy like, the liquor hit me different this time? What are y'all drinking because Liquor don't change my emotion. Like, I'm never crying or low or happy or want to fight. Like, I, liquor don't do that. I just get lit. Like, I, I'm a vibe all the time. You guys, I get super sad. I can't even explain it. But it's weird because I knew for a fact this wasn't my emotion. And this is the first time I've ever felt that in my life. When I felt this sadness, my self-conscious was like, that ain't you. And I'm like, what's wrong with Chip? Like, that's how I felt. I was like, oh my God, like, what is wrong with this man? I'm feeling all of his emotion. Keep in mind, me and this man have never done anything other than kissing. We ain't got soul ties or nothing. It ain't none of that. It was just very much so... I knew in my soul that was his emotions like those weren't mine so I politely excused myself from the situation because I was like I can't handle everything I'm feeling right now I have like my self-conscious telling me stuff which is really scary because this has never happened to me so I was like I'm gonna go home really fast. I'll be right back. And they were like, oh, okay. And Tammy was like, you want me to come with you? Yeah, come. Because, like, Tammy was a friend that me and her would literally stay on the phone. Like, 8, 9, 14 hours a day, you guys. Like, every day. Like, she was, like, my life partner at that point. So I was like, yeah. At first, I told her no. And then I got up to walk down the stairs and I was like, you know what, yeah, like, come please. So she comes with me and we're just walking. I'm explaining to her like, bro, I just feel so sad. Like, I really just need to go home real fast. And I know for a fact, it's this man Chip. Like, something's wrong. And she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, bro, something is wrong. And like, I couldn't express to her the feelings I was having, but I just knew something was wrong. We're walking from Salty and them's house to my house. It was kind of like a three, four, five minute walk, right? So crazy. As soon as I touched because my door used to be one of those, th 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 th. like you didn't need a key, it was a password door. So I'm over here, as soon as I touched the first number to put in my accommodation, Chip texts my phone and he texts my phone and said, are you busy? I need to talk to you. Ah! I said, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it wasn't me. I knew something was wrong. Like, are you busy? I really need to talk to you. I was like, I don't want to talk. I do. You know how you get anxious when somebody be like, I'm gonna tell you something, and like they be like, wait till later. So all day you like, what is it? What is it? What is it? That moment, I felt all those emotions. I was like, I don't want to talk to you because I know something's wrong. I know you're gonna tell me something really, really bad. Like I don't want to do it. <laughs> I finished putting it in my combination. I opened the door. I tell Tammy like I told told you it wasn't my emotions I knew it it was him I knew it so I'm like okay like I walk up my stairs ah! I walk up the stairs I go to my room and I call this man when he answered oh my god when this man answered the phone it was just like all the emotion I felt I heard it in his voice first of all I was like that's a little weird that this is happening to me right now like me feeling your emotions that shit was crazy so I was just like oh my god like when this man said hello he didn't say what's up like he said what's up to me <laughs> he said 
said hello. Who answered the phone saying hello, Chip? Not you. Not you. So, <laughs> let me stop playing. <laughs> I was really sad, you guys. He answered the phone and said hello, and it was the driest hello of my life. Sahara Desert Dry. As soon as he hit that dry ass hello, I said, yep, it was your emotions. And I was saying like, oh, what's up, right? What's up? <sighs> this man goes on to tell me, this is not my character. I don't like this. This is not the type of person I am and I don't want you to think this is the type of person I am because I really, really like you. This and all that. Just like, you know, I have my relationship. I am not a cheater. This is not what I want to do. We have like this long ass conversation. He's on the phone just talking and it's like, I was really, really sad. Everything coming out of his mouth. But then I was just like, you know what? Let me take a step back. Like I said, it was a friendship of our whatever was going on. There was a friendship. So I said, let me take a step back and remove my emotions from this conversation and just really talk to this man and give him some advice and be his friend, right? I'm sitting here talking to him and I was like, you know what? I fully understand how we met. It was just a spark of excitement and something new and fresh and we just connected off that. I would say it wasn't just on my end how I felt about this connection. It was equally equally felt the same way about each other so it was just like we both feel this like what is this going on but we like this vibe and i was just telling him like you know if she she being his girlfriend i was like if she is someone that you actually want to be with and you want to build with and you have all this history with and you love her like do that like i want you to be there a hundred percent like don't dry ass nothing with your relationship if that's something you really want and that's someone who you really love be there for her like we don't need to do this anymore you know we both said we still want to be in each other's life we can do that but it's going to be very minimal like i have guy friends i don't talk to my homies every day it's i'm gonna check up on you here and there birthday come around you in my city i'm in your city we hang out that's the vibe it was going to give and i literally told him this like we going back and forth it was a lot in that conversation so i'm missing a lot but it was a lot said so in the conversation comes and he's just like bro like i really really appreciate you and this is why i just like you so much because you understand me you understand me and like I just respect you how you can just la 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 right I'm over here listening to this man talk I had it on speaker I'm listening to this man talk and I'm just like yeah you know I'm just great like I don't know I don't know what else to tell you like I'm really a genuine ass person and I'm not trying to be cocky and try to uh, Leo coming out I feel like I have a really genuine soul everyone around me really says that so I'm not lying I'm not this cold ass person empathy is there so I really like to take a step back try to put myself in the other person's shoes see all sides of the topic so when he's telling me all this and all that and just expressing to me how he feels about this girl and all this and all that but also how he feels about me i'm like you know i don't want you to just jump the gun although i feel like what we got maybe is a little <laughs> It might be a little bit better, I feel like, because I know what type of person I am. But you know, I ain't gonna tell you to just fuck her and just come with me, although that's what I wanted in my head. Like I said, I'm going to put myself into his shoes and not just tell him what he want to hear, but tell him how I really feel about this situation. I've been in a relationship and I stayed in a relationship because of history and comfort and all this and all that. I knew how it was going to go and I kind of it, like expressed that a little bit, but I wasn't really like, oh, this is not gonna work because you're just staying in it for comfort, like ah. I wasn't gonna be a Debbie Downer, but like I said, I knew where that relationship was gonna go. At the time, I wasn't gonna tell him all that. So we're talking on the phone, like I said, I'm expressing to him, he's expressing to me, and then phone conversations get wrapped up and he's just like i really appreciate you like i can't not not have you in my life i don't want to not talk to you blah 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 right right oh, i was hurt and i'm just like you know what it's good it's okay it's all right but i'm talking to him like this i'm like it's okay like it's all right like don't worry like i'm okay like you know do what's best for you sweetheart like i'm here for you friend love you friend as soon as we hung up you guys I am bawling. <laughs> I am 
crying. You would think my damn dog done died. My dog of 20 plus years done died in my arms. How bad I am crying. And I'm sitting there on the floor crying. It, it was a cool 15 seconds of ugly cry. So I set up. I don't like to cry because I feel like I'm I should be a, such a strong person but I feel like that's very weak minded to think that like only weak people cry and I've grown out of that but like back then I was just like I felt so weak crying you guys like I hated crying. So like I'm sitting there crying and I like sit up and I'm like the fuck is wrong with you? I was like, what the hell are you crying for? What is going, like, why are you crying over this boy? And I'm just sitting there, like, talking to myself in my head, trying to dry my tears. And I'm just like, why are you crying? And I honestly couldn't express to you guys why I was crying, but it was just on my soul. My soul was like, no. Not Chip. <laughs> so then I get up. Remember I said my sisters wanted to fight Tammy? This is why. This is why. My bad if it moved. Camera position a little off. My camera had died and I gotta talk fast because y'all it's not fully charged. So yeah, let, let me try to wrap this up. Let me try to wrap this up. So like I said, this was the reason why my sisters wanted to fight Tammy, okay? I get up out of my room crying or whatever. And when I cry, you guys, my eyes get all squinty, face all puffy, but like my nose be red as hell. Like all this is just red as hell, right? So I get up and I walk in the room and you know what's crazy? Tammy has only seen me cry, I feel like one time. I feel like one time, it was probably like a time that I talked about my dad in front of her, but she's only seen me cry one time. We've known each other for years and she's only seen me cry one time. She was in the other room. I get up and I walk to the room and I'm just like, bro, <laughs> crying. She's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I knew it. I knew something was wrong. I knew those emotions were not mine. And then I started explaining to her like what he was saying on the phone, not in depth, but basically the phone conversation was he didn't want what we had going on anymore. We weren't really gonna be communicating because he wants to focus on his relationship and la la la, right? That was the gist of the conversation. So I'm explaining that to her, but I'm like crying and I'm like, I don't know why I'm crying. Like, this is so stupid. I don't even really know this man, but like the impact that the connection had on my life at that moment in time, that shit was deep. That shit imprinted like Jacob did on Renes, babe. <laughs> was that her name? You know what I mean. <laughs> that shit was deep. Like, it really, really affected me a lot. So I'm sitting here crying to her, telling her all this. <gasps> As I'm telling this girl this, she's like listening to me, but she's like texting. I'm not putting two and five together. Oh, maybe she's texting this man. Because why would you be texting this man what I'm saying, right? So she's like texting, and she's like, yeah, oh my God, really? Like, what else? So I'm just talking, crying, telling her. And then she's like texting. She's like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh my God, that sucks. Uh-huh. Right? So then I'm like, you know what? We were supposed to be going out that night with some friends. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. I, I need to go. Like, we need to go. I need to get drunk. Y'all, I wasn't even trying to get high at that point in my life. I was high as fuck that night. I need everything to numb the pain. <laughs> Get, not everything. I was about to say, give it all to me. No, no. But yeah, I was trying everything to numb the pain, right? So I'm like in my room. Stop crying. I'm getting ready to go out. Like I said, we was going out that night. I was getting ready. My phone start ringing. Who is it? It's Chip. Why the fuck are you on my phone? Because when we hung up, hung up that conversation on a good note. It was, okay, friend. I wish you nothing but the best in life. Okay, friend, you too. Love you always. Love you forever, dude. Huh? Shaka, brada. So, there's no reason for you to be calling my phone after you just said, like, the communication is not going to be there anymore and you want to work on your relationship, correct? Correct. Calls my phone. I answer. I'm like, hello? This is what really, really got on my fucking nerves. He, baby, are you okay? Baby? Don't baby me, bitch. <laughs> what? I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, are you okay? I'm like, yes, I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be okay? The fuck? I'm good. Nothing you said affected me, shorty. Like, why are you on my phone? At this point, I got an attitude because I don't even want to talk to you. So I'm like, I'm good. Why is Tammy telling me you're crying? Like, this is what I didn't want. I didn't want to hurt you. La, la, la. Like, just talk to me. Just talk to me. And I'm like, all I heard 
was why is Tammy telling me you're crying? Cause why is Tammy telling you I'm crying? Tammy, why the fuck you telling this nigga I'm crying? Like, ew, don't tell this man that. Don't let him know. Like, he carried that much weight. Don't tell that man I'm crying. That's embarrassing. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? I know that was your friend first. Not necessarily, I was. Now, now, what are you really doing? Like, you don't even know him for real, do you? Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> But like, come on now, I was your friend first. I'm upset because I'm telling him, I'm asking him like, what is, what did she say? Like, he was like, well, she just telling me like, you're crying. Like, I did something wrong. Like, I thought we were good. We hung up okay. Like, what's wrong? Just talk to me, like, please. And I'm like, no, like, I am good. Like, I'm okay. Like, I shed a couple tears or two, but like, I'm good. Hugs don't cry. I just had something in my eye. Like, <laughs> I'm okay, and he's like, all right, like, you know, just, I'm always here if you wanna to talk to me. That conversation, though, led to all the other stories that will come of Chip, okay? Cause the door closed, but that one just, it just cracked it open. And then the door just opened, the door just opened. <laughs> but the door was closed for a good 20 minutes, okay? Okay. <laughs> like after me and him had got off the phone, ended up it was still like a, okay, like we're not gonna communicate, do what you gotta do with your relationship, blah, 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 right? I went in the room and I was like, what did you tell this man? He was like, she was like, why? I was like, why is he calling me, asking me, like questioning me, like what did you tell him? I'm asking her, let me see the messages. She would not show me, she would not tell me. And I'm like, Tammy, that's weird. Like, bro, just tell me like, what's good? Like, why is he calling my phone? Like, what are you saying? She would not tell me you guys she would not tell me still to this day do not know what she told this man like i don't know how much she added on it she was doing 10 on top of two like i really don't know but my camera is dying i'm going to leave this story here um there will be more stories about chip because like i said the door was closed for a good 10 minutes but that conversation just it just <laughs> nose arcing that bitch okay it was flooded <laughs> yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the story if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you made it this far you're not yet subscribed Woo! make sure you hit that subscribe button follow me on all my other social media accounts there down below and on that note i love you guys bye <laughs>